Hey everyone, welcome back to another carving video. Today I'll be trying to do a box carving. Now, this carving won't really be a tutorial video that I haven't actually carved a fox with any success before. So, I'm going to be basically running you through the steps I take in order to make a carving happen. Now the first step is just shaping it out from one side and then looking at it from the front side and shaping it out that way. And then I go in and uh, round everything off. But like I said, my first step is just to get a silhouette of what the thing looks like. Okay, so what I'm going to do next here is I'm going to try to work on the face a little bit. So when you're shaping out a face, for me, you take the general shape of what the face is. And in this case, it's a triangle, like all animals in the entire world, except whales, which are mammals. Are those animals? That's an animal. It's not a fish. It breathes air. Right. And the triangle ends, it looks like, at the back of the ear. So my ears are where my widest point's going to be. shape the face is right now is a rough out I'm not gonna go into it anymore really with the chainsaw just uh, because the chainsaw takes too much off too fast in my case when it comes to doing something you aren't really familiar with it just takes a flick of the wrist and then too much is gone and the whole carving is just gone so the next step I'm gonna do is kind of get my body in the shape I want it to digging everything out just uh, still very much working from a 2d perspective looking at it straight on I can tell there's way too much right here this needs to go back but on the silhouette and in different pictures the, the base of the feet actually sit with the tip of the nose so now my feet like my paws are going to be out here where another chest comes out goes back in and then the legs shoot out from uh, like, like this is that a good example so <laughs> So I'm going to continue to do that, probably going to round off my neck, uh, do my ears a little bit, and then uh, just keep at her. Now I get into a flow, eh, so I don't really want to stop and tell you what's happening, but for the most part right now I'm still shaping everything out. Way back just to be safe. 
Now I'm going to angle this in and have it so those two paws are sitting in front of them. And uh, we're going to kind of round the body off and shape from there. And then that's kind of going to be the end of the chainsaw work. And it's all going to be down with the grinder and stuff. So that's going to happen fast. So we're rounding everything off. Quite happy with how the shapes turned out. As you see, there's an arch in his back, and the arch is at the same point of the farthest bust of his chest. You see that by the silhouette up here. Kind of gives you a rough idea what that looks like, and that's why them silhouette pictures are really nice. As for his feet, like I said, I angled those in. Um, I'm happy with the shape right now. I'm gonna go in with the green saber disc, uh, the donut shape. And I'm gonna shape them out a little bit more, add details, really work on the face. done my face I'm happy with it uh, I'm gonna come back to the ears when I actually do the fur I'm just gonna work on the feet now kind of get them shaped out and then I'll add fur to the entire body now the back feet and uh, the back legs are kind of going to be uh, brought out by the way the fur runs now if you look at your carvings you can see the fur pattern on the legs and that's going to be different from the fur on the body and that'll that'll actually bring them out without having to do too much shaping and I don't have enough material to take my legs in um, so I'm just going to work on rounding these guys off putting hair, do the details on the paws and then, uh, and then just fur the body Alright guys, so that's my first attempt at a, a fox looking creature. Now, a lot of room for improvement, but as it goes, I'm happy with the, uh, the finished product. And I've taken it a step further, if you paint this thing orange and white, like, like the pictures kind of depict them, eh? It looks spot on. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's a little bad or not, if you add orange and white paint to it in the correct pattern people will be able to tell it's a fox a mile away. Uh, me, I don't personally like painting my carving, so this will end up probably being called a dog before it gets sold. So I can live with that though. 
All right, I'm gonna go edit this video. We'll see you guys in the trailer. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. So that was my first attempt at doing a fox. Uh, I think it turned out all right. You guys let me know down in the comments what you think or where I could use improvement. I really do appreciate criticism and feedback when it comes to carvings that I don't really do a lot of because it draws my attention to certain areas that I could improve on, right? So fire away. <laughs> um, so next week I'll be uh, doing a goat head carving. Um, I enjoy doing them. I think they're pretty cool and people like them in the sense that they can just throw them in their guarding and uh, it's not just actually like a goat head it's like kind of a goat head on a post so they, it kind of pops out of the ground right so we'll have a tutorial on that next week on another note I think I'm gonna want to start doing like little time-lapse videos just to throw them up there for you guys on uh, on Wednesdays um, because they, they only they only take roughly an hour for me to make a time-lapse video if it's strictly a time-lapse um, there's not really any commentary on them um, I'll be uploading one next week on Wednesday. You guys can let me know what you think. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in, and as always, keep on carving.